we need uh, 25, at least 25,000 signatures by midnight on May 31st, and then we're going to need another 50,000 by midnight on June 30th. The campaign to protect women is a brand new pro-life grassroots operation looking to drum up 70,000 signatures in order to bring a new state law expanding abortion access to referendum. Organizer Deborah Bracado calls HB 937 a bad law. We don't like the lowered standard by removing the physician requirement to do abortions. They also don't like that the law requires insurance to cover the procedure with no co-pays or deductibles. Pro-life Republican Sally Taylor says she was working on her primary campaign for state delegate in District 5 when she heard about this on the radio. And this is a very important issue uh, to, to make sure that our extreme laws here in Maryland don't become uh, more extremes. As those opposed to abortion access were gearing up to gather on Lawyers Mall, a pro-choice rally was already in full swing on the campus of Towson University. We're very upset about the um, potential of Roe v. Wade being overturned. Students leading students in a call to protect abortion rights. Dozens of supporters took part and some of them talked to 11 News. We want to make sure that our um, counterparts all have access to safe and legal abortions. Um, so we're here just to kind of build a community of people who are like-minded and want to support the cause. Folks organizing this petition campaign told us that they are aiming for more signatures than they actually need. They know some always get dropped in petition campaigns. They want to make sure that their issue gets on the ballot and gets in front of voters in November. Reporting live from Annapolis tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.